Hola everyone, Vince here and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your boot time on Windows. This process works with XP, Vista, and 7. So let's get started. Click start and then if you're on XP, go to run and if you're on Vista or 7, type in msconfig. After that, hit enter. Okay, now go to the startup tab. And these are the programs that start up when Windows boots. And basically what it does is it starts up and when you open that program, it automatically pops up because it's running in the background. So to give you an example of this, I'm going to open up Minesweeper. Okay, so pretend that Minesweeper is minimized. So pretend Minesweeper is a startup item. And so when my computer boots, Minesweeper is running in the background. So you can't see it but it's running, it started up already. So if I go to start and I type in Minesweeper, it'll open up right away without it loading because it already loaded up. So that's basically what the startup items are. It starts up, but they don't start up automatically. Some programs do and some don't. And so we're gonna fix this so we can speed up our boot. Now, you just don't go unchecking everything saying, oh, I'm gonna uncheck everything. No, you uncheck the programs that are not necessary, for example, QuickTime and iTunes and MobileMe and Java and your QuickCam software. GrooveShark Utility is an office application. Adobe Acrobat, you don't need that. MobileMe, you don't need that to use up. Airport, I need that to boot up because I need it to connect to my airport every time. So this is basically being personalized to your own computer. If you need it to start up, leave it checked. If you don't, if you know you don't need it to start up, like iTunes and MobileMe, then uncheck it. Skype, I don't need that to start up. Tiny Grab, Webcam Max, Google Update. And then you might be saying, Vince, how about these items that have weird codes.exe? Well, all you have to do is go to your browser and then type in the item that confuses you. So, for example, I'm going to be using this one. What the heck is LXD Kmon? So, we're going to search it right now and go to the first link you see. And it's the Lexmark 5300 series monitor, so that's my printer. So it's a monitor, so I don't need that to start up. And this is a Lexmark 2. Log me in, I need that to start up. Your mouse and keyboard software, I need that to start up. Your sound software, I need that to start up. So basically, you just check and uncheck. Load over feedspan control, AVG, and leave your antivirus checked because you want that to be starting up. So just the essentials, you leave them checked. Then all the junk. Don't leave them checked and they won't start up. After you're done, click on apply, click on OK, and that's just about it. Restart your computer and you should have faster boot times on Windows. So a few tips, leave antivirus software checked and then leave the stuff that you normally want to start up like connecting to your airport if you have that, Skype or Yahoo if you want that to automatically pop up when you log into your computer, fine, leave those checked. And if you don't know any of the programs listed there, so they have weird names like xxcd.exe, just search that on your local browser with Google or Bing. And yeah, that's basically it. That's how to speed up your computer by editing it with msconfig. Email me at vincentvinsmog.com. Send me tweets to Twitter at twitter.com. Save 25% off your next seven domain by using coupon code Vince by going to hover.com. Vince or typing in V-A-N-C-E at checkout. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a good day. This is what you do. You uncheck everything that isn't your Windows firewall or Windows antivirus or spyware. So, you don't want LimeWire to start up, uncheck that. And if you don't want this to start up, uncheck that. If you, Java, uncheck that. QuickTime, MySpace, IM, Messenger, ICO, CFT Mon, Chica Launcher. Um, let's keep on going up. So just take off everything that isn't your antivirus or anything else. Like if you want Yahoo Messenger, for example, to start up while your computer is turning on, you just leave that there. If you don't want it to start up and you want to uh, manually click on Yahoo Messenger over here, just uncheck it.